Hey there. Thanks for watching my Stream Reel review by Abby Dwebetti, where I'm not just going to walk you through the sales page and show you a demo video like a lot of other marketers do. I'm Susie. I'll be your affiliate marketing informant today. This Stream Reel review is based on my honest opinion of actually purchasing this product and logging into the platform myself. I'm going to take you with me as we research this dashboard the strategy they want you to use, and any problems that I see with it. If you are looking for honest and ethical ways to make money online, be sure to click our instant access link in the description below. If you find value in this video, please give it a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. We'll be happy to answer them for you as soon as we can. Now let's see what Stream Reel promises us. Live stream videos on multiple social media sites. You can schedule one or more live streams for any date and time. You can broadcast live or pre-recorded videos on 10 social media sites simultaneously with just one click. You can share your screen or stream your webcam for live streaming options. And there's hundreds of backgrounds for you to choose from. We did purchase this and received our email with access. And here we are inside the Stream Reel dashboard. First thing we always do is go to the training. These trainings up here are just pictures with arrows, if that's a better way for you to learn. And below that are some tutorial videos. This is about 30 minutes of training and it does walk you through button by button. However, some of this is for upsells and they don't tell you which ones are the difference. So let's go ahead and get started. They did tell you on the sales page that you would be able to share to up to 10 social media sites. They only allow you to integrate for four. There is an RTMP, but the video for integrating that was for YouTube. So I'm standing by there's only showing four here to integrate. And on the main dashboard, there is another demo video, which doesn't give you much more information than the tutorial section. And if you scroll down, it's actually kind of more of a sales page which I haven't ever seen inside of a product before because you've already sold me. So this is just more of selling the product I've already bought. To start a broadcast, you would click broadcast now, choose what account you want to connect it to, give it a name and a title, and you can choose now whether you want to schedule it or not. If you don't schedule it, you go live now. And if you schedule it, you choose from the calendar. And if you're scheduling in Facebook, make sure you schedule it 10 minutes in advance. Then you'll create the broadcast. You will have to allow your microphone and your camera if you want to use this platform to record those. I have already done that. And you can choose whether you want them on or off here. Give yourself a display name and enter the studio. We have the same mute and start buttons here for the microphone and the camera. You do have the option to share your screen. And if we look at this, you choose to share the entire screen, share. This is a nightmare. This just keeps going. This is not a video I would record or want anybody to see. I would need to fix that. If you want to invite people to join your live stream, you have a URL to send out. You can add a video from here or you can add a video from the customization section as well on the left. You can change your color feed, text style. You can enter a logo, an overlay. If you have a pre-recorded video, you can add this here. The thing with Stream Reel is they don't tell you anything about the pre-recorded video. There is no strategy as to why or what or when. You would either use a pre-recorded video or go live. So if you wanted to know more about the strategy of why you would go live and what you would do with a pre-recorded video, you are not going to get that in Stream Reel. You can also add a background. And when I choose this background, if I were on the screen, it wouldn't do what's around me. It just does behind my video. So this isn't a really great background. They also said that you would be able to get hundreds of stock photo, but that is not available here in the front end. If you chose to have your logo, it would be up in the corner. You don't have any option of where else to place that. Another customizable feature is supposed to be the banner. You are supposed to be able to type in some words that would show up down along the bottom. I have not gotten this to work yet. I've tried several different words and it just won't show up. So that's not working. You can add music or an audio. You can upload your own. The problem I find is you can't adjust the volume. So if it's too loud, you're just going to have to scream over it. There is an option to control your comments. With Stream Reel, this will only do Facebook. So if you're using one of these other integration options, you aren't going to be able to control your comments from here because that's only Facebook. 
Now, if I were using music and I select this audio and I wanted to do this as a record only because you have two options, record only and go live. If I wanted to record only to save this for later. I am recording now. I would have to play this and then start. And if I wanted to sync it up to a video, that would be very difficult to do at the same time pre-recorded. So let's go ahead and end this recording and we'll exit the studio. And now we can't download this or preview it. If we enter the studio again to try and edit this in any way, you have to go through this every single time. We'll put in a name, enter the studio. I don't know what was previously recorded. And at this point, I would literally have to start all over again. If you were to go live, you would just be showing this with pauses and all because you would still have to start this and then get over to your video to actually start your video. You'd want to include your logo again. So you would have to come back in here and check this over and over again. I'm just not seeing any way that it's saving it properly. So if we ended the live and exited the studio, there's still no way to download this. Now I did do a live earlier and I was able to download this one. And if we take a look at that, it can't be opened because it's unsupported. The extension is incorrect, even though it's an MP4. I had the same problem with the first one. It just recorded this and that was it. So I haven't figured out how to see what you've recorded and or edit it. It looks like stream reels only gonna be good for actually going live. So what's the strategy with StreamReel? You can broadcast or live stream a 30 minute pre-recorded or live video on four social media platforms. There is a 30 minute maximum that they don't tell you about. And these are the only four options that you have to go live on. So my question to you is on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, LinkedIn, the people that already follow you, are they going to want to watch your live and buy from you on that live? Because if they aren't, then you are gonna make no extra sales using StreamReel. This will only go to your current existing following on these platforms. There is no extra traffic coming to you from StreamReel. And my problems with StreamReel start with just not being able to get it to work properly. I can't view what I've downloaded. Once you get in here, either half the customization options aren't working, like with the banner, or you can't get them timed properly. If you wanted to pre-record a video, with an audio, it's very hard. The screen share will definitely give you a headache. So there's just a lot of ways it's just not working properly. Not to mention on the Facebook page that I posted these two as a test, I have actually gone in and deleted them, but they are still showing up on my Facebook page. So I don't like that. If you are looking to do live streaming, there are several different platforms out there that you can do this with. Facebook allows you to do live streaming right within the platform. And if you wanna do a pre-recorded video on Facebook, you can actually use the Facebook Premiere to schedule a pre-recorded live video. If you are looking for the software to record the video, we actually use Screencast-O-Matic to record our demos. If you would like to check out the free version, be sure to check out our link in the description below. They do have several different options for screen recording and screen editing. This would allow you to record your screen and speak or narrate at the same time and then post your videos where you deem necessary. If you're looking for something a little bit more robust that will actually make the videos for you, such as using artificial intelligence to bring in highlights of webinars, actually turn text into a video for you with minimum editing and adding captions to videos. Pictory also has a free trial. Be sure to check that out with our link in the description below to see if it's gonna be right for you to allow you to make no face, no voice, videos. And for the price of StreamReel, you're definitely going to want something that does more than what StreamReel is doing. On the front end, StreamReel is $67. Upsell number one is unlimited. It will be $97 per year. So after the first year, you will have to pay another $100 for this. Upsell number two is the professional at $197. This is where it removes the branding that they didn't tell us was going to be in the front end. And because I haven't been able to see a video, I didn't know it was in there. Upsell number three is your stream reel business. This is your agency. And it says the exact same thing for upsell four 
and upsell five. So I'm not sure what the differences are because the descriptions are the same. But all total, you're looking at $469 plus $97 a year for a product that isn't quite functioning properly right now. For that price, you could have Screencast-O-Matic and Pictory for a full year. I'll leave it up to you if you wanna spend your time, money, and energy on Streamreel. Remember, if you are looking for honest and ethical ways to make money online, be sure to click our instant access link in the description below. And if you're looking for strategies for your videos, be sure to check out our Simple Traffic Blueprint review in the description below. If you found value in this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I really hope this stream reel review answered all of your questions. If it didn't and you still have questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.